So this is really a fuckery because first of all we couldn't find a way because nothing is marked. There were some initial markings. Very sweet. Sweet, sweet, yeah. sweet, sweet, sweet. You see it type of in uh, Meridian and uh, southern part of Italy we prefer the sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is from We have uh, arrived kind of in a Malfi. It's over there. Our hotel is located slightly uh, outside the city center, about 20 minutes walking. So we looked kind of at the options because we're staying here for two days. Originally, we had planned to do the Path of the Gods, Sentieri dei Degli, I think it's called in Italian. But if we look up in the hills, it's still covered in mist. And then it kind of makes it purposeless to do the hike up there because originally you can see like very very beautiful views when you have like these sunny days so i think um, the best thing to do is just to continue exploring uh, everything down the amalfi coast as far as we can go maybe not to salerno but hopefully up to maiori and basically skip the hiking in the mountains because like i said if you, it's like a nice hike, it's a nice physical activity but you can't feed your soul looking in the clouds so instead of that we're gonna feed our soul walking through uh, the coastal line of Amalfi
we did our share part of exploration in Amalfi. It's beautiful, but somewhat smaller even than Positano. So behind me you see there is an uh, entrance point to Atrani. There's uh, another small village where you can see the coastline. So we're gonna do some little exploration over there and uh, try to capture the best of it. We are still um, walking here around the Atrani and the impossible has just happened. There are almost no mist, no clouds in the mountains and we even saw a few rays of sun over there and there is like a tower up this mountain, a cave and a church. That's like really really broadly to say that, maybe I'll just show it on the screen of the names of that but the path over there is like not marked. We have to take all these like small narrow, uh, like these all small narrow hats that are not marked. So it's literally trying and trying. So we try to follow Google Maps a little bit. It's also tricky. But after three attempts, we are finally. I think we have found the uh, right path. If these stairs could talk, they would say, "I will fucking kill your legs." So this is really a fuckery because first of all we couldn't find a way because nothing is marked. There were some initial markings. Uh, okay, blah blah blah. And we came to a gate that's fucking closed. And then only there you can see like the cave and like oh, the whole uh, path that leads you um, leads you also to the tower. Torre de Zillow or something like that well nonetheless we really kind of enjoyed the the climbing up over here to those narrow streets it's always sad when you um, don't get what you want over there you see this lively uh, beautiful city they even have their own football stadium over there as you can see and over there you, you see like these huge holes in the in the cliffs so that also in the beginning when we started to um, explore uh, the village over there we see we seen like a lot of abandoned houses like the one I'm pointing uh, at right now because I believe there is huge risk huge risk of um, this cliff breaking down eventually because we did some see some places like huge uh, mounds of sand that kind of came out from the cliff and even over here you have like this net and above it you see some arches that means that also over here you had probably uh, some pretty big house or maybe like an even a path like you know the greek style uh, like some you know secret monastery uh, stuff that took you somewhere probably uh, up to that abbey or a church i'm not sure how you call that but that is the area what we try to get to and uh, up there on this mountain there is the tower that we try to see but whatever it's uh, more it's uh, more fun hiking or stepping down these stairs and um, we're kind of satisfied with what we have seen here today oh yeah and uh, probably you have heard me uh, earlier babbling that uh, we uh, so the uh, almost no clouds and uh, the mist was kind of retreating from the mountains well now they're kind of coming back and I can already feel the uh, rain on my bald head even for a moment we thought about going back to um, Nocelle or uh, taking the bus to Bomerano to do the path of gods but I'm happy we didn't kind of make that decision till the end because 
Um, like I said, there's not much to do up on that path when there's rain pouring down or when everything's kind of surrounded by a mist. Ah, and there is Sabine. She's making a picture of me and I'm filming her. Oh my God. So Sabine is already well a step ahead of me. We have some uh, nice Jesus piece, not really Jesus, but like, you know, another saint. Alley and some uh, stones sticking out over here. Nice bench, which clearly says it is for the commune of the Atrani. There you go, man. Uh, some Ukrainian supporters. You wouldn't probably expect to see in a small village like this. Yeah. Or maybe you would. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Let's go. More exploring. Oh, oh, over there, where the big cave is, there is like a small bridge. And a little bit below that, there is a yellow fence. Using my digital power, after editing zoom power, you can see that. So maybe that's where we should have gone, but that's not the path from the um, Atrani. Because we actually also came out from uh, this arch over there, but we entered over there. So we kind of like made a lot of circling. So that right there is another village. Uh, since it's not that far from Atrani, which is like right over here, I think we're gonna go ahead, try to see what's over there. It's, it's like a truck. It's like you have no other option, I guess. Anyway. like uh, nothing new about it it's just coming and going coming and going ask him what he's running from there's a second guy Woo, you go man you go uh-huh i'm not doing so good but uh actually when we looked at google maps like uh even before we came here, when we came here for the first time, we were all really like wondering how people are uh, walking over here, like from village to village on the roads. Is it safe? And I have to say, it's actually like pretty safe. I mean, you know, don't jinx it. But it seems like the cars and even the buses and trucks, they kind of respect the pedestrians and they drive around you. So it's pretty safe. But initially I thought it's going to be dangerous as hell, so go uh, people from Amalfi Coast, you know, so let's go to this new village, I can already see, I can read from here, it's called Cast Castiglione, I think so, if not the right name of the place is coming on the screen. So, uh, and it's kind of messed up because today I'm wearing my kind of civilian clothing, like jeans and uh, sneakers. So I can't really afford to get wet because it doesn't dry that quick. And the difference from the hiking clothing. So we only made a small progress here in the Castiglione. Uh, still nice to appreciate that little house because it's narrow and on, on a curve. So pretty cool. There is a small bar, I think, where we're gonna try to make it over there and wait out the rain and at least have like a one drink. Uh, yes, I am. You can stay here. Okay, how do we do a grappa frego? Yeah, well, you mean uh, old, yeah? the best one. Uh, sure, sure. Brown, not white. Brown. Sure, sure, sure. We are not specialists with grappa, so we don't know so much about the grappa. But it makes you warm. I know that. Some water before? Uh, yes, yes, yes. We, we have we have before, but never a local one. Only industrial one. No, in the supermarkets. No, supermarket, but uh, uh, traditional uh, 
traditional meat, meat uh, the soap. This one is traditional, yeah? yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, well, it's a one for two is enough. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Pussy? Uh, yeah, pussy. We, we take the half first and then the other half. Uh, okay. Enjoy a little bit, yeah? Prost, so to. Good. Very sweet. Sweet, yeah. sweet, sweet. sweet. You see, typical in uh, Meridian and uh, southern part of Italy, we prefer sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is from Calabria, so from over there? Or Campania? Campania. Campania. Okay. So local. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. More or less, yeah. More or less. Benevento. Benevento. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely miss shops like this. I think it reminds me a little bit of 90s in Latvia. But you have all the necessities available here and basically also Italians are not very known for having big supermarkets but basically you can find all your necessities local foods, local fruits, meats, cheeses, hygiene and for the upcoming Easter day a lot of good and so many different stuff like it that you can see like in the Netherlands, for example. It's a nice little shop. We ordered a second grappa. Had already a one sip of it. The rain seems to be a little bit more calm. So, I think... Uh, so, so, it stopped raining for a little bit. And OMG, guys, do you see that rainbow and uh, a little bit of sun there in the distance? Amazing. Amazing. Okay, Sabine will make some pictures, I can show it on the screen because the digital zoom on this camera is not as powerful as anybody would like to have it. But we kind of uh, waited out the rain over there and uh, I, I talked to um, the shop owner, the um, old man. He's working there with his family, what's left of it, with his mother and his brother. And I asked him how how are they doing over there so he said he has to pay 2,000 euros rent uh, for uh, for the shop and apparently 1700 euros for electricity and the and the um, uh, solar panels are not an option because like this is all a UNESCO area so I think the local businessmen are really really struggling to keep this area alive so uh, give him a big thumbs up for that but as it goes for us, I think we're gonna kind of slowly go back to Amalfi. Um, hit some grocery store, make sure we have enough water at our B&B. Show you around the B&B, which is gonna be really quick because it's a small room. It is a small room, but it is a great room. Here we are. Who can ever beat this sea view? I think I'm definitely sleeping on this side of the bed. And I really, really hope there is like a ton of stuff coming tonight. The same as yesterday? Same as yesterday. It's kind of like an uh, old fashioned, like with these. Um... It's in the lighthouse. Is, is this a lighthouse? No, but it's <laughs> it feels it like, feels a, lighthouse. like a lighthouse. Watchtower. There we have like um, this bathroom here, running hot water. So we did get some. Uh, well, look on the window there, like this. You're sitting in a bed. It is. It is. Uh, it is awesome. It is awesome. Just uh, move the curtains, I guess. Because we uh, we got some uh, we got some products from uh, the the shop in uh, Castellano. Uh, we got some local uh, specialties, some delicacies, just to try out a little bit of that. I think we're gonna leave that for the latest part. Because right now we're just going to dry our clothes, dry our feet, take a hot shower. I've talked to the uh, host of the hotel and he kind of allowed us to uh, bring our own food that we bought earlier. Some, uh, some uh, the, the specialties and whatever we got to set up a table over here next to the sea. So I think we're not going to head out anymore. Uh, back to the Amalfi because most 
mostly because it's just a little bit too expensive to eat there. And we are not millionaires, not even close to be able to um, always eat out and um, order soup for about 35 euros. And we do have some a uh, little bit more expenses ahead of us. I think we're just gonna take a rain check. And we kind of also, you know, like paid for this uh, hotel over here. It's not like, um, so it's not like a really, really like on expensive side, like rather on the cheaper side as well. Uh, but it is a great view and kind of, it's included in the price, the view. So we're probably just gonna stay here, serve our food. And um, after that, just watch some American Dad or Family Guy or some other series on our um, on our Chromebook that we got with us and then just have a nice chill evening over here. I think that's the last entry of the vlog tonight and uh, see you in the next one.